You know, I always have trouble working with the NRF24 module. Mm, the videos in the description show this. But the comments I got from you forced me to make this video to check and see what project can be done with this module. Uh, so, stay with me for the rest of the video. Hate you. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. More on them later. First, I will mention the appearance of the module, which has one type of antenna on the board and one type of external antenna. The type of external antenna covers a distance of 1 km, but the type of antenna on the board covers a distance of 100 meters. One of the reasons why I don't like this module is that the arrangement of its pins in a very inappropriate and it doesn't fit on a breadboard. And if a short circuit occurs, this module will burn. Why do they limit us? Because this module is suitable for remote communication, it can only be connected to it through the SPI connection. You can find the SPI pins by the referring to the Arduino datasheet. But I will put this picture for you to make it easier for you. After writing the program and preparing the circuit, I considered two LEDs as output. And for the transmitter, I use this circuit which is related to the Wi-Fi jammer video. I wrote the program so that the LEDs of the receiver are turned on with the switches of the transmitter. Okay, everything is ready now. I connect the battery and you can see that it doesn't work. It worked. I got It worked. This solves many problems. My God. See? Love you. And this is another interesting project that I did. As you can see, the angle of servo motor can be controlled remotely with the help of a potentiometer. So what's the point of this? See? These are potentiometers whose information is collected and then sent. In the receiver, this information is sent to the servo motors and the control levels in a plane are changed. And finally, the plane can be controlled. Many of you are telling me not to upload videos about RCR planes because it's not related to electronics. You can see that it's related. Go check the playlist. As I told you, this video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop solution for your projects. They offer custom PCB prototype service, CNC machining, 3D printing, and more. You can order your projects online and they achieve worldwide within 24 hours. Check them out at PCBWay.com. Okay, now I wanna talk about Wi-Fi jammer. First of all, I have to say that uh, I don't know much about it. I just know that uh, Invalid information must be sent on the desired frequency 
with more power so that the main system is disrupted. For example, my Wi-Fi frequency is 2457. According to this diagram, I have to set the NRF24 module channel to channel 60. But I use two other modules to disrupt the surrounding channels as well. While I'm working on the project, please like the video and support me by subscribing and leave your comments. Thank you. See how much wiring it has? There is still one module left and there is no room for error. Jammer circuit is now on. You can see that I'm still connected to the internet and the Google page refreshes. And there is no problem. But sometimes the signals was weak. This means the transmitter is still weak. Uh, if you have any solution, uh, be sure to share it with me. Uh, I will try to make more videos with this module. And uh, at the end, uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget this. Uh, see you in the next videos. Goodbye.